morning everybody it's Michaela uh, today is October 15th yeah <laughs> uh, Tuesday I am gonna need to switch my days that I record I was doing on Monday uh, I think I'll end up being Wednesday when I do it I'm not 100% but it'll be a different day but it'll still be coming out every week <clears throat> I just gotta kind of get used to it and move things around so that it works a little bit better for my week, my schedule. I'm going to go ahead and just jump into what I've completed. I have four things that I've completed. Two of them are not here. <laughs> the two things that aren't here are my kids hats. So I Love Yarn Day was this Saturday. I went and celebrated it at my yarn shop, Teaswick Wools in Salem, Oregon. And they have these uh, hat kits. So it comes, it just a kid's hat kit. comes with enough yarn to make the beanie and then it comes with like a stuffy head. So my daughter's was pink and it has different textures in the yarn that goes up. So hers was pink with a bunny on top and my son's was uh, blue and purple with a blue and purple owl on top. <clears throat> really cute. I did post the pictures of those on my Facebook and Instagram if you'd like to see them they're really cute <laughs> and my kids are wearing them so that makes it super extra cute the next thing that I made is another hair tie uh, I like these they don't damage my hair as much because they have the fabric around them and then but they're not as big as like you know the big um, hair ties I like it it's kind of cute um, it's just an I cord I make it Sounds super technical, you guys. You ready? I make it to, so that it goes from here to here. That's how I measure it. And then I measure a piece of round elastic that fits loosely around my wrist. And that's it. Just put the elastic in there so my eye cord shut. That's where my thing is there. That's how I make my elastic. Works really well. My second thing that is finished Finally, I better hear some drum rolls on the internet here. <gasps> it's done and lovely. And I did not expect this, but as soon as I got this done, I have decided that I will absolutely make myself one. This is so nice. The garter stitch, as everyone knows, is a very cushy, extra thick stitch. It's so nice it's really really huge I'm gonna wrap it around me very large if you wear it like this it's like a blanket you see oh, it's so cozy guys <laughs> um but it does absolutely wrap around and then what I like to do oh because it's totally mine I just like to fold that because I think it looks nicer um but very nice my friend who's getting it oh my friend who's getting it is gonna absolutely love this I think if she doesn't she better never ever tell me because I'm gonna be super sad <laughs> um no she will though but I am absolutely gonna make this again I have what was it called oh I think it was the cupcake yarn I showed you guys is the beach ball named cupcake you know what? I'll go get it. Hold on just a second. <clears throat> Lion Brand Cupcake Yarn. And this is called, yeah, Beach Ball. I was right. I got this on that clear to, uh, clearance event at Joann's. I think I'm going to make myself one of those that looks just like that in this color. I think it'd be pretty. And if I run out, I'll just run a I don't know, random color on the end. So that is it for what I have made. Haven't, I mean, that's kind of a big project. <laughs> so um, haven't had a lot of time to finish really anything. So my um, pumpkin guy, I am making a different body for him and gonna try that out. I'm making one that makes it look like he's wearing a jacket. And then I'm going to make the cape. See how I like that. If not, then I'm going to go back to putting leaves all over his, um, the, the black body that I made. 
just make some leaves and vines around it and he'll just be a pumpkin guy. <laughs> but I'm going to try the headless horseman thing. But now that this is done, I am back to my sweater. It's living in my Zelda bag. It's not a project bag. It's a, like a shopping bag. It folds into this. But I use it for my big projects because it's cute. So I am making the mud blood cardigan, and I, I honestly have no idea where I was because it's been so long. I feel like I was four decreases in one, two, three, four. I think I was about here in. So I ran this much over the weekend, something like that. <clears throat> and I was silly and stopped in the middle of the row because I like to gamble. So, I'm glad that I am back working on that. I am going to start my asymmetrical shawl again, but I wanted to make those hats for my kids, and then I wanted to make a sweater really quick for my dog, who is just absolutely freezing to death. He's a Chihuahua Dachshund mix. And he just is dying in the 60 degree weather. <laughs> so I'm making him a little sweater. Um, and I'm also going to finish making my husband his slippers. After those things are done, then I will go and finish my shawl. So speaking of my dog sweater, I started this last night. Uh, I can't really purchase sweaters for him because he is because he's a mix he's very oddly shapen <laughs> so um but this is what I came around with I have no I do not have a pattern for this I won't I won't be writing a pattern for this I am just trying it on him and shaping as I go this worked out really really well for him these are for his little legs and then this goes down to his chest. I stopped it about this far from where it scoops up because I want to put some ribbing around it um, to make it, you know, fit tighter so it's not flopping on him. And then this is going to run for about this far because he's a long boy. I may, these ones will be longer. I might try and put back legs on here too so he has like a full suit. I don't know might try. So um, that is that and my son is super happy. So Oliver, the one that I'm making this for, is my husband's and my son's dog. They share him according to my son. <laughs> uh, they share him and I am making it in the same, I had some leftover um, yarn from the sweater that I made him. So he's very excited that they will have a matching sweater <laughs> um he's yeah he's gonna love that <clears throat> and acquisitions was like i said this saturday was i love yarn day um i really had a good time my friend tiffany came down she picked me up and we went down and hung out for a while with my kids at teaswick wools it's real like they have forever things in there. They have gift shops, they have uh, classes for weaving and um, everything like that. They have a museum that you can go through, uh, the, the yarn shop obviously, and they have a gift shop too. So we actually spent, because usually when I go down it's knit night and a lot of those things are closed. So we spent a lot of time going through and looking at everything and they have, in the back they have like a little pond uh, creek, it's, it's, it's a creek, not a pond, uh, that has really friendly ducks and they have like a little 25 cent, you know, thing that you can feed all the ducks and they came out and ate out of our hands. It was really fun. We had a lot of fun and I'm super glad that I got to spend that day with my friend Tiffany. Uh, I bought my kids their hat kits that day and then Tiffany surprised me and purchased two more of my um, 
Arne and Carlos yarn. I almost have a whole set. Like, I've almost collected them all now. <laughs> this one is all of my colors that I love. The, this isn't showing up as brightly as it really is, but it's a yellow. Yeah, none of it's showing up as brightly as it really is. But yellow, gray, and blue go through. I'm not sure if this is the design because it doesn't have any red in it. But I'm super excited to, to start some socks on this. I want to get through um, my little projects that I have first because I don't want to stockpile all these half-finished things. But as soon as that's done, I, I want to make these so bad. Like, but also, she got me these. These are the perfect ones. Now, I've always, my other ones that I have are just from this one. You, they self-stripe as well. But this one tells you exactly where to start, where to stop, so that you have perfectly matched up stripes every time. And this one is the purple and orange. It's perfect for Halloween, right? So I may have to do this one first. I might have to get this one done, like actually start this. Because, you know, it's almost Halloween. We got only two more weeks. <laughs> so thank you, Tiffany. I love these so, so, so much. <laughs> um, these are going to be my favorite socks. I can already tell. I almost bought this one several times, but I wanted to get because one, these are 100 gram, 100 gram balls. And because one of these make enough for me, myself a pair of socks and then two of my kids or my husband a pair of socks and one of my kids. Um, because we like the shorties. <clears throat> I didn't buy this one because it wasn't my family's favorite colors, you know. So, this one was, would have been one that was last on my list. And so I really appreciate that. It's super special to me. And this one, because it's Halloween colors and everything, I mean, you can wear it any time. Any, any day of the year. But, let me see if I can... It's in the, nope, now I'm just making it worse. Well, now it doesn't want to. At any rate, <laughs> um, I think I might make one long pair of socks for me out of this. I might just go and make, because it's not something that I would normally do, and I think that I might just do that. Just make a pair of socks, right? some long ones. I'll have them to celebrate for Halloween and then um, just a nice pair of socks for any other time. So yeah, uh, it's not, again, not one that I would purchase normally because it, you know, you're supposed to go by the guideline to make this sock so I wouldn't really be able to split it up as easy for the kids and everything like that. I don't know. I'm always, even when it's something like crafty, which is my personal thing, I always try to put myself last, I guess. So I wouldn't have purchased this normally. So I really super appreciate Tiffany a lot. Um, I have not done very much of anything else other than that. It's been kind of a uh, crazy week on Saturday. Um, my husband had to fix we thought it was the starter in our truck, but, um, so our truck, <clears throat> the engine went out on it and we sent it off to get fixed. They fixed it, but apparently they didn't tighten down the ground wire or, or the ground bolt. I don't know. Um, luckily it was just that it wasn't the starter because Harley was trying to get to the starter and it's not something that we, or I say we, he, because I'm not doing any of it, uh, can get to or know anything about. So we would have had to send it back to a mechanic after we just replaced the engine and it would have been a huge thing. So luckily his friend came over, was able to fix that for us. That was on Saturday and that was one of the reasons why Tiffany came and got me because I was totally whining that I couldn't go <laughs> to Teasel Wick Wolves for <laughs> I Love Yarn Day. So, I super appreciate you, Tiffany. <laughs> um, so, we got that all done. Luckily, that was it. Uh, and then, yesterday, which is 
was going to be my recording day, my normal recording day, my dog, Scruffy, my, my dog, um, he was really sick. He was throwing up uh, blood and everything like that. It was I am a certified vet tech. I haven't been in a clinic for uh, over seven years now because I, we decided that it was better for me to stay home with my kids after my daughter was born. So, but I am a certified vet tech and I am really, really good at it. I'm uh, not to toot my own horn or anything like that, but I am, I'm good at my job. Except when it comes to my pets, because I just, I lose it. I can't deal with it. <laughs> uh, so I was trying to go through my panicky mind as to what I needed to check and everything like that. And I did come up with, I thought that he had ulcers. So, which is not something I can fix uh, at home, I need to obviously take him to the vet. So I took him to the vet. Uh, luckily, we were able to get him in right that morning. And uh, they did confirm that it is ulcers. So we are fixing that. He's on a bland diet, which he really enjoys. <laughs> and uh, just because of the way that we feed the dogs, everyone needs to be on a bland diet. I can't really keep the dog food away from Scruffy at this time. So all the dogs are enjoying my cooking for the next three days. Uh, but he is doing much, much better today. He, they gave him an anti-nausea shot. And he is doing really good. He's back to his normal, adorable self. No more puking the blood, which really freaks mommy out. <laughs> uh, so, I'm glad that he's feeling better. That is why I didn't show up yesterday uh, to record or anything like that. I probably most likely will be switching my days to Wednesday now. I think that that's going to be my least busy day. Um, not 100%. I'm still kind of trying to get the feel of this whole YouTube thing. So just hang in there with me until I figure it out. But I think that I might be switching over to Wednesdays. Still be coming out weekly for you guys. And I'll still be showing you my projects. Uh, thank you so much for coming. And I will see you next week. Have a great day.